Hey guys, first check of the day. We're just up from my house. Put a rat float in last night. And uh, this one I gotta pull out every day because too many thieves coming around here. Right on the side of the road and all. So. One rat for sure. The other one just got knocked off. So I'll take it out and uh, I'm gonna set it tonight. And a real good frost this morning. More like a freeze or something on top of it. Log there, so. Okay, rat number one. The little goober will get him under the trap here. And First real set of the day here, we got submarine trap that I set on the way home. I didn't know if there's any rats running through here or not, but apparently there was. So got four. Nothing really big, but four nice rats. Little guys really. There's a really little one. But anyways, I've just had the thing set in the culvert here on a little swim through from one swamp to the other. Like I said, there's, I really didn't think there was anything living in here, but, and who knows, maybe there isn't now. I see now on the trail. Hey guys, just check those uh, four floats in the pond here where the otters were and these beaver traps, like I suspected, are not sprung at all, so. They're getting pulled out, and we caught five rats out of the eight traps in here, so that's not bad. Anyways, these guys are all coming out of here now, except for the rat traps, of course. And the cormorants were back this morning, too. Hey, guys. Here's the other, my second uh, funnel trap. I just got it set in the entrance of this here culvert I couldn't get it in the culvert because it's the traps too big there's a couple rats in here too holy heck holy crap. there's one two three four five six seven well, but we're in a dangerous spot on the road so I'm gonna take it up here and put it in the truck and we'll empty it over there and then I'll come back after and set it again one two three four five six yeah seven rats Eha. Yeah. The main part of the trapping area. We've got the first uh, rat float here. You can see one rat sitting here in the trap. At least. Can't see the other one yet. One little skipper there. Oh, 
another one here. Good side out here. Two more. Alrighty. And then I've got a, right on the other side of this trail where it crosses over the field, I got a submarine trap in there. Alrighty. You guys, sorry, haven't been videoing. We're in a bit of a hurry today. So I've just been scooting along. Got two extra large beavers at that new pond I put in last time. And uh, two rats. So here's another little beaver. I'm not sure what it is with this pond. All I got is little beaver so far. That's four there, I think. Next one over here sprung two. And where they are. Pulled way the heck down here. See, and this is probably an instance what happens with those old traps, the older ones. Yeah. So we probably got caught by the foot like that. And see, because the older style don't close completely yeah. tight, yeah. probably got a, just got pulled it to the end of the wire and pulled out. Happens once in a while. Anyways, we got the one little one here. We'll get them out and carry on down the road. Guys, okay, so we're over at the Swamp pond, got uh, one rat float here, two rats, little goobers, but rat to rat, no matter how small. And we're heading over to right over there, shrimp pond, where uh, got a multitude of rat sets. We're just gonna do half a day today because I got a buddy with me, he's got to get back um, by a certain time, so we'll be. Uh, just checking the last pond will be the rat pond and then we'll head back. Alrighty. Hey guys, okay, we're over at shrimp pond checking rat traps. Beaver trap not sprung, but this rat trap on the log is. So, oh my gosh. Beaver. What the? We got a little beaver in a muskrat trap, but he got all wrapped up under the log and it's still there. That, I'll have to say, is probably a first for me. Cut lots of rats and beaver traps, but never a beaver in a rat trap. So, cool, well we'll get them out of there and move on down the rest of these rat traps. Hey guys, we're just here, we're at Rat Pond. Got uh, two big beavers and the two traps over the dam. Nothing in these two rat sets, but of course I've caught so many rats in these beaver traps that probably not too many left. But the shocking thing was over at the shrimp pond, out of all those traps, 20, what have I got there? I got, yeah, like 22 traps on that pond, or 20, 22 or 24. I think we got, what did we get, like four rats out of all of them? Yeah. Four or five, not very many anyways. But everywhere else where I wasn't expecting to get a ton, we're getting more. So anyways, that's the way it goes. So we got one more one more trap left to check before we head back. And uh, I gotta still reset that that funnel trap in the culvert and we'll go from there. Alrighty. Hey guys, um well, probably the last beaver trap of the day. What time is it? You know? 12.05. Yeah, so it's the last one. We gotta get going. And uh rat in it in one of the new traps again. So alrighty, I've got a bunch of rats anyway, not sure how many. See you down the trail. Okay guys, back home. So we ended up for this half day with uh seven beavers. And 20, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
28 rat. Um, only checked probably a third of the beaver traps, I'm going to guess. But we checked most, about two thirds of the rat traps. So, of course, it helps your total when you have two funnel traps and four rats in one and seven in the other. So, anyways, but like I said, the shrimp pond where I expected all kinds of rats only produced four out of four or five, whatever it was, out of 20 some traps. Then the rat pond also, where uh, well, I expected a couple there, but there was neither trap had even sprung, but that's simply have caught so many rats in the beaver traps there. It uh, makes a big difference. So, anyways, I'll go back out tomorrow and finish off the other half and get these uh, here traps reset somewhere. Like I said 28 rats. I'm gonna, you know, do a few checks. As soon as it slows down, I'll be pulling everything. But I also gotta remember too, uh, I wanna bring a couple 160s. There's one trail there over below Elk, the Elk Pond that has a, uh, a definite rat trail over the dam and I want to put two 160s in there one on each end for for doing that but anyways also I guess while I'm right here I should just mention it anybody down there in the states that is interested in buying some older number three coil springs I got a bunch of them for sale and I have people going down, like my deer hunters will be heading back, and they will, uh, and I'm sure they'll bring them, bring some with them. And I've got a bunch of, like I don't use these stop loss, here's stop loss number ones, but I've got a bunch of the one and a half stop losses too. Not a bunch, I've got I think only half a dozen of them but a bunch of the number one stop losses and and I don't use the things if anybody down there is interested in buying some um, and even the one tens which are something that I know I can't use up here other than for a rat and I don't set that many for rats so anything like that if somebody's interested in buying some just let me know uh, just message me and we'll uh, work out some kind of a deal anyway so I'll uh, I guess I better get skinning. I got those seven beavers to do from yesterday still. And uh, then whatever rats I can get done, these other beavers, I'll leave them till tomorrow and the day after. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to start carrying my 17 cal with me because I saw two coyotes I could have shot today. Um, you know, just trotted off the road and stood in the field staring at me while I went by. But if I uh, remember to bring it tomorrow, they won't be standing there for long. Coyote season's opened up, and since I'm not going to be trapping out in the farmland too much longer, see here I can't I can't trap farmland and my RTL at the same time. However, my two coyote sets that are on my own property, I can uh, I can set because it's my own property, but. I can't go out in the farmland, so while I'm out here, I might as well go shoot some coyotes. But I'm going to grab a couple of these 160s and put them in there for that rat trail. So. Alrighty. Later, guys. Keep your boots dry.